Hi there everybody, it's uh, Neil from Senkaku Games. Um, just bringing you a video in relation to the new application from Game... Uh, sorry, Razer. Uh, this a application is called Game Booster. It's currently in beta, as you can see, feedback on beta. Um, and I'm just going to run through just the first looks at the application and see what it looks like and all of that. So, your system will will switch to gaming mode automatically when you launch a game. If the game that you prefer is not listed here, click add to add it to the list or drag and drop its shortcut here, which I don't actually have. Is my favourite game there? Nope. So I need to do that. Um, if you're using a Razer Game Booster for the first time, click configure first and check to see if the running processes and services are necessary or not, so it wants me to click configure. Don't want to click OK until I see. Click configure first. Oh, there you go. Having too many background processes can cause your CPU to run slower than usual. Improve your CPU performance by closing some of these non essential processes and services. This is, um. Right, so. It's using nothing. Right, if we arrange by CPU. Right, we've got Fraps, obviously, because I'm recording this using Fraps. Chrome's not really using anything. Right, so I've got a lot of nothing using nothing. Uh, is that the way I want it? Yeah, highest first, so Dropbox, don't care. Really, I don't think I have much problems to be with that. It doesn't have my memory usage. But it does show the temperature of my mainboard, my CPU, 26 degrees, honestly. Is that right? My um, Logitech G19 is reporting that my CPU is running at around about 35 degrees. So I'm not sure how accurate that is. This is more closer to my current CPU temperature, but maybe it's just got the things the wrong way around. But it is a beta, so uh, moving on. Video card, 50. Yeah, that's about right. Um, hard disk, 45. have no idea. don't have anything for that. And fan speed, again, no idea. Uh, let's see. System services. Uh, no idea. <laughs> so basically, just looking through this, it kind of... What, so if I click apply, does it close them? Close unnecessary processes. Are these the ones that are running? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, non-Windows services. Seven services, zero checked. So what services is it actually checked under processes? Team viewer, open office. Yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see why, well, TeamViewer I don't need if I'm at home. Um, Non-Windows services, it's not ticked any of them. Others, clean RAM, optimize memory usage to increase available physical memory. It's not so bad. Clear put clipboard, that's, I guess, handy. Um, enable, just get rid of that. Oh, God. <laughs> um, enable game power solutions. Turn off automatic updates. Prevents the automatic up update from interrupting your games. If you set that up properly, that won't really be a problem anyway. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do this right now because I think I need some of these services and whatnot running currently. Uh, so let's cancel that. Or is this what happens when you launch the game? It goes into game mode and it closes these services. It could be very possible. Uh, diagnose, click analyze button to continue. This function generates a report of hardware and software information pertaining to your specific computer. It will identify any error messages that exist and can be easily copied or exported and posted in gaming forum to consult with an expert in computer hardware. Click analyze. Okay. Do -do -do -do. If 
very nice. You can see how this can be handy for uh, reporting problems. Is that it? Nope. Yep. Right, so let's have a quick flick through. So, yep, that's one of my graphics cars, the GeForce GTX 560 Ti Super Overclock it is. Um, display memory, 4 gig, apparently. Is that right? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, adapter RAM. Yeah, that's for this current monitor. Although, this one has two monitors plugged in at this result. No, it doesn't. It has a 26 inch plugged in, so I don't think it shows that. Does it? Oh, here you go. Yeah, there's your 26 inch. So it gives you every individual. And there's my other graphics card, which has two monitors plugged into it as well. So that's the first one. And another one, which runs that resolution. So, yes, it shows every single graphics card and every single monitor. Um, yeah, it's fine. Total memory, 8 gig. Free memory, 4.3. Total page file, 15. I didn't, I didn't think I had a page file. I thought I got rid of that. I'm not sure. Anyway. Alright. That's fine. So, that's handy for stuff. Tools, tweaks, tweaks, tunes up your system. Settings and registry for top gaming performance. Let's see what it does. So disable 8.3 names for NTFS and speed up disk access. Oh really? Oh really? Hmm. Disable last access for NTFS and speed up disk access. Okay. End hung applications faster. Hung. Oh, that's handy. End hung applications faster. Wait time. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, speed up menu display, menu show delay, 400 to 200 menu display, is that like that? Hmm. Uh, makes system shut down faster? Ooh, what the hell? That's nice. It's pretty good for um, solid state people as well. Uh, boost priority for foreground applications, yeah, I can... Is that taking it away? Oh no, I don't know. Increase IE download sessions, increase IE download sessions. Mm, don't really use IE for anything, so... But let's go for it. Optimize successful. Please reboot your system for the changes to take effect. Okay, I hope, it's hope it doesn't do it now. I wonder what this is. Oh my god. Oh, you can customize it yourself. So this is what the current value is after it's changed it. Fix show desktop missing problem. Fix bad tweak. Enable options for show. Hidden file folders. Blah blah blah. Okay, that's nice. And the last and thing I might use, if the CPU is not fast enough, please try to use lower quality and smaller resolution. Well, I always record in the highest definition. I do not want this. Enable screencast module. Untick. How do you get rid of this? Display position. Select FPS display position. I don't want FPS. Can you not disable? Or is that just for benchmarking? Okay. Uh, video capture hotkey. Control, Alt, and V. Okay. Game resolution. Yep. Video quality. Highest. System. Alright, so, yeah, microphone, want my headset microphone currently, screen capture key, hold on, oh yeah, that's a screenshot, and PNG, as always, and then apply. Right, so, that's it for the actual application itself, um, what I'll do is, I'm just quickly going to add, um, a game. So we go users, public, Sony, installed, Planetside. Hmm, maybe it's just easier. Yeah. 
just test this you show desktop icons planet side you right so that should work happy days right so recording within the game but here's my usernames for uh, recording on different servers and whatnot um I think I'll go for yes. I'm just gonna go in here and test to see what it's like. <sighs> so keep in mind it's also in gaming mode. Got the tank stuck. Got it. Oh well, can't win the molly. Terran sucks. That's that's ironic for somebody that got his tank stuck. Ironic. Well done. Um subscribe. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be using this application for recording, but it's definitely good for uh controlling certain aspects of your computer during gaming sessions and whatnot. So I think I'll use the actual application in that sense. I will obviously give it a chance and it's still in beta so recording can increase and Alright, it's Neil from Senkaku Games. Talk to you soon. Please subscribe and like this video.